how many hurt his knee. Yeah, he's he's going to be out. You're right. There's there's the other big name on the list. So and also the Detroit's on a bye week next week. So Detroit's not going to take a chance and play him. I think they're going to just let him sit for a couple of weeks and heal and then be Ray uh, in a, in about a couple of weeks when they come back off bye. Yeah, that's what I read. He's listed as questionable but not expected to play. No. So. Uh, another Tough fair, break. fairly big name that's had a decent season. Uh, Jericho Cotri is uh, listed as doubtful. Definitely uh, wouldn't play him this week. He's not going to play. And then you have McFadden's out and Fred Taylor out. Uh, I also read a story he might have ankle surgery. Is this a guy maybe done for the season? Maybe you want to drop him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, Fred Taylor. I wouldn't ever have a New England running back anyway. <laughs> but uh, Fred Taylor, when he was in, actually looked all right. In yeah, New he England. was having so, a uh, decent season. Yeah, keep an eye on that. If he gets surgery, it's it's pretty much all over. And maybe anyway. I mean, you might want to try to get him off your team and get somebody productive in anyway. See that someone picked him up in our league, Mark. Five two nine fourteen fifty is the phone number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football One Hundred One. Go ahead. You guys will probably think I'm crazy, uh, but I'm no. questioning playing Drew Brees uh, because I have Matt Schaub every on my lineup. Who would you guys play? Well, that's a that's a Brees good question. That is a really really good question because Matt Schaub, aside from Week One has been incredible. I mean, I have him on, on one of my teams, and he has been uh, really, really good, scoring tons of points. And this week, New Orleans has who? The Giants? Right. That's right. Tough matchup. I mean, first against the pass. And well, they're at home. And they're only allowing 105 yards a game through the air. Wow. I mean, that's... With the way Drew Brees started, and I think I am crazy for even questioning, but I've <laughs> yeah. been having a better week lately. Right. Well, if you look at the numbers... Um, as Eric says there, I'd go match up. Yeah, numbers say match up, and it's hard to tell anybody to bench Drew Brees. I mean, this guy threw six touchdown passes in week one, but I think he only has nine on the season. Right, that's week one. I mean, every week's different. That's you why know? you got to watch matchups. Yeah, and uh, he's actually cooled off not just a little bit, but a lot in the last couple of weeks. Um, I'd go Shaw. Okay, thanks. Yep, yep. thanks for the phone call. 529-1450 is the phone number. We do need to take a break. Let's take one more phone call, though, real quick. 529-1450 is the number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. Uh, that was a good question, but a better question is how in the world did he get Drew Brees and Matt Schaub in the same league? <laughs> yeah, no is doubt. Is he playing with like, retarded monkeys or what? <laughs> well, I tell you what, Matt Schaub, and I got him late in my league too. Uh, you know, the guy's got such a history of getting dinged up and missing games that, you know, regardless of how big a numbers he puts up when he's healthy, people see that as a giant red flag. Yeah. And nobody wants to take him as their starter. So he was, uh, honestly, in most leagues, he was drafted as a backup. Right. And there's no telling. Eric. There's no telling. Also, he may have been in a keeper league and kept Breeze and then got uh, Shaw too. But yeah. Eric, you said you said the same thing I was thinking too. In very very many of the drafts, a lot of people were skeptical on Shaw, but he he ended up lasting longer than you would have thought. Yep. Five two nine fourteen fifty is the phone number. We'll be right back after this quick break. You're listening to Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450 and SportsRadio1450.com. Come skate.